We're Power Mickeys, session number 18. And today we're not going to actually talk about any words. Okay, we're not going to talk about any new words or any more origins. Today, it's a review! And from the past sessions from 1 all the way to 17, we're going to go ahead and talk about them all. Which should take us about approximately, I did the math, 8 minutes. Yeah! Let's get this started with. Alright, I'm going to speed this through. Let's start off with session number one. Now, session number one, we've actually started learning about personality types like egoist, altruist, introvert, extrovert, ambivert, misanthrope, anthro, uh, misogynist, misogamist, ascetic, all those kinds of people. They're pretty darn e great, too. That's pretty much it, too. We even learned about egotists, but here's the actual thing. Ego means I am. Okay, let me go ahead and calm down. Egoist, the root is ego, and it means I, and their vocabulary is like me, 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 me. And uh, like others, like ultra, as in altruistic, it basically means alter, and that basically means you're like looking at other people, and you basically don't care about yourself. Well, it's not as much as other people do, though. So. And then we have to talk, and then we have uh, like introvert, extrovert, ambivert. The root is from Virto, which is Latin for to turn, 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 and also from Dexter is too, where Dexter is Latin for for the right hand, and misanthro, misogynist, and misogamist, their root is from misai, which is the Greek for hate. Anthropus, as in like misanthrope, comes from mankind, and gene, from like misogyne, basically comes from women, and that's pretty darn important too. Next up, we have monogamy, polygamy. Monogamy is like one marriage at a time. Apparently, there's this thing called polygamy, which apparently is practiced by Tibetans, where a woman can marry five people in the reverse at the same time. Yikes. And ascetic is from like ascetic is from the Greek word asketos, which basically means but the monk or the hermit. Then we have session. Then we start off with session number four, where we have internist, the gynecologist, the obstetrician, the pediatrician, the dermatologist, the ortho or salmologist, the orthopedist, the cardiologist, the neurologist. In fact, we've actually started this two weeks ago, and right now we're already at a review. Ah so if you just follow the wrong with me, you might already know what seems to be going on here. First of all, we have the internist. Now, the internist himself is pretty darn important because, like, he's all like, what's wrong with you? He's the one who analyzes you, do the x-ray, do the CTA scans, the CAT scans, all those kinds of things. Well, the gynecologist is the one who specializes in reproductive and sexual organs, mainly women. Uh, like, of course, it's all female reproductive and sexual organs. And obstetrician basically means take it, take, they take care of pregnant moms and they also take care of them immediately after the baby's uh, birth. Then we have the pediatrician, which is the person is the doctor who takes care of kids. Then we have the dermatologist, which is the skin doctor. We also have the ophthalmologist, which is the eye doctor, which prescribes glasses, directs or perform even eye surgery. Then we have the uh, orthopedist, which is the bone doctor. We also have the cardiologist, which is the heart doctor, and the neurologist, which is the brain doctor. Nice. The, okay, so then we have to talk about the origins of these guys. Internus and internal, that come from the like Latin root inter, internus, which means inside, and it's not the same thing as in the internship. It be, that's an apprenticeship, nothing to do with inside. Children is like the pediatrician. The roots is pidos and iatria. Pidos basically means child, and iatria basically means medical healing. Doctor and gynecologist actually are like the gins. The gin means women, and logos means science, and the, like the dermatologist, the guy who are the skin doctors, the root is derma, which is Greek for skin. Eyes are ophthalmologist, the oculus. Or ophthalmos means eyes in Greek, and locals means science, and oculus also means that too. Then we have to talk about more, like the straightener, or the orthopedists, the orsos, the pedos, those kinds of people, they're all pretty darn important too, because they're basically the people who straighten out things, and they're the ones who correct things. Well, pedos means child. And then the heart, the cardiologist, this is the cardiac, the logos. Like, cardiac starts with a K, apparently, in Greek. It's actually the root. That basically means heart. And logos is science. Then we have cardiology. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. The third one is the nervous system. And the nervous system is pretty darn important, too. And then we have neurologist. And root is neuron. And it comes from the Greek la root nerve. And logos, science. We have the pra also, they practice neurology. Then we have the mind. And they're like psychosis. The root is psych. And they're special education. And it's And this means spirit, soul or mind. Then we have occupations. These occupations are darn important too. Let's go ahead on to like session number seven. So you have the psychologist, the psychoanalyst, the orthopedist, the optometrist, the optician, the osteopath, the chiropractor, the podiatrist, the graphologist, and the gerontologist. Whoa! Whoa! That's pretty good. Anyways, these people are actually darn important here too because they're all great. Let me explain. Now the psychologist is the behavior expert. The psychoanalyst is the person who the, the, all those worries, the fears, and the conflicts. The also 
orthodontist is the teeth and the dentist and the optometrist is the eyes and there are people who uh, prescribe glasses they're glasses prescribers the optician which is the person who gives you the eyewear the glasses and the contacts and those kinds of things and then you have the osteopath which is the person who takes care of your bones and blood vessels the chiropractor the joints and articulations the podiatrist which is the feet and the ailments the graphologist which is the writing analyzer and then we have the gerontologist which basically means getting old social scientists for the old then we have session number eight, which is basically psych, and yeah, we're gonna have to talk about it. And this is the only way, this is the only thing about psych. This whole session is about psych. Psych basically means the spirits, the soul, and the mind. If you put the logos, you get psychologist or psychology, and combine it with it, you get psychic. The person who reads your minds! This powerful, combined with powerful, psychopathic, and you're like a loony guy, you're like dangerous. And we have soma, psychosomatic, which basically means like you're like delusional and the therapy psychotherapy is like just therapy to the mind let me session number nine we're going to talk about the whole to the orthodontist the pedontist the pedon uh, the pedontic the periodontist the root is pidos and dear and and means child and orthodontist means teeth the root for orthodontist is odontus which is also means teeth and then the bones is feet and health and yeah osteopath the root is ostean, and uh, basically means bone, and pathos means suffering. And then the podiatrist, the root is the uh, podos, the foot, and iatria basically means medical healing. Then we have the chiropractors, which is like uh, the root is like chair, and it basically means hand. And uh, for the chirographer, it also includes graph, which basically means writing. Then we have the measurements, optometrists, where the root is opposite and optocus, and which all basically means eyes. Eyes! We have finally arrived at session number 10. Here are the writings and writers who are the graphene is Greek for to write and like logos, the graphologist, the graphology, yeah, chairs hand, and we've explained all this already, haven't we? Then we also have to talk about the gerus, like the Greek for old age. Now this is for like gerontation, the gerontology, like like yeah, all that. Senex basically means old in Latin too, yes. Gerus and senex are both old. It's just that gerus is Greek and senex is Latin. And sena, senesin, senior, senator, yeah. Apparently the senate was called that because apparently they saw older the you are, the smarter you are. Also you do forget it better, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you're smarter if you're older. Next, we have to talk about session 11, where we talk about scientists. Here are also basically just 10 scientific fields mankind, the anthropologists, and the astronomers from above in the space, the below in the geologists, the life is a biologist, the floor is botanist, the fauna is the zoologist. The little bugs is the entomologist, and the abel is philologist. The, like semantist is the person who analyzes what people what people actually mean when they say things. The sociologist is the interactions, the social interactions. Oh! All right, going on. Anthropos basically means mankind. Astron means star. So anthropology, astronomy done. Then we have to talk about uh, like astrology. Astrology is just like science. It's like religious science. Religious astronomy. Then we have to talk about geology. Geo basically means earth. So geology. Geologist is the study of the earth. Then we have like biology, biologist, biology, the zoologist. Like yeah, the zoologist is the person who takes who like studies animals. And there's literally a thing called the zodiac where we have like Scorpio, the scorpion, Leo, the lion, Cancer, the crab, uh, Taurus, the bull, Aries, the ram, and Pisces, the fish. Then we have cutting in and out. Okay, let's go ahead. So, uh, tonsillectomy basically means cut out. Well, like, okay, let me explain. Ek means, is a Greek word for ek, which basically means out. And tom means cut. And so, tonsillectomy is, means cut out the tonsils. Uh, appendectomy means cut out the appendix. Mastectomy means cut out the breast. And hysterectomy, uh, hysterectomy basically means cut out the uterus. Ugh. And then we have to talk about like ah if you add a uh, to most roots then you basically get the opposite if then you get the opposite of the original root like atom basically means indivisible thing where tom means divisible thing and ana means up uh, anatomy basically means cutting up a living thing apparently and taika basically means two and dichotomy means splitting in two dichotomy is dichotomy love and words okay so let's go ahead with this logos basically means word and speech too also I have kept saying it means science and like study it also means word and Speech, philology, logically, yeah, it's from Logos. And then we have philai, which means love, where we get the word philosophy, Philadelphia, which means the city of brotherly love, and phil and philanthropy, love of mankind, love of mankind, philanthropist. And we have to talk about semantics, where like there are people, like they're just the people who just 
see how they affect people. And then we have how people live. The sociologists, the socio based on the Latin socios meaning companion. We're sociologists, sociologists, socialized society, social, but antisocial and asocial. Yeah, that's where all those words come from. We have to talk about liars now. Okay, I messed up with my eight minute deadline. All right, let's go ahead. So, notorious liar, the consummate liar, the incorrigible liar, the inveterate liar, the continental liar, the chronic liar, the pathological liar, the unconscionable liar, the glib liar, the egregious liar. Yeah. That's pretty important too. And now I'm gonna talk about the adjective and the roots that come from. Notorious comes from, uh, means reputation for something. Notus is like the Latin root for noted. It's also where we get the word that from. Plenty, okay. Consummate, it means best at a skill. And a consummate liar is like, I'm the best. I can lie to everyone and no one knows. But it plays on the Latin root for summers, which basically means the highest. Yeah, and that kind of makes sense. And incorrigible is, uh, incorrigible basically means you can't help that person at all. It's based on the word corrigo, which means correct. Um, straight and since we added the word in to it it basically means you can't help that person then we have veterans veterans inveterate it's basically means veterans old people and uh, it's based on the latin root vita videos which is latin for old and congenital is like means since birth and it's based on the greek word for genesis which is like birth and origin all right finally we have to talk about chronic. Now, chronic comes from the Greek word chronos, which basically means time. And if you add a K, the, if you replace the CH with a K, then you get the name of the Greek Titan, who is the, who is the uh, father of Zeus and the other uh, main 12 Olympians. And yeah, they massacred him. No! Oh, yeah, there we go. Chronos is like Greek for time, also the name of Greek Titan. Chronicity means like the name is the noun of chronic and anachronism, anachronos, anachronistic, uh, chronological, chronometer, synchronized. Ah, yeah, all that comes from it. Then we have to talk about pathological. What well, baffles basically means feeling. So pathological basically means, well, you're a disease. You got a disease on you. Yeah. And finally, the latest one, yesterday's video, knowing. The unconscionable basic is based on the Latin root shio or science, which is knowing, like which basically means knowing, and that's also where we get the word science and omniscience and prescience. Next we have which is, yeah unconscionable is like not knowing, so they do it without thinking at all. They have no feeling, they have no guilt, and then we have glib. Glib comes from the is actually a word based from the old English root means slippery. And a glib liars only feel the most nisient, meaning that they are very they they're like Teflon. They, they're too smooth. And sometimes they're like, this is too smooth, this is sus. Then we have egregious, which is from the Latin root grex, herd, and gregus, flock. Grex and gregus is like herd and flock. Yay. And egregious is, yeah, egregious, egregiousness, gregarious, gregarious. All those words come from that. And we're done. Session 18 done. 12 minutes and 20 seconds. <gasps> Whew, take a breather, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next session when we start part two. Ha! Huh? No teaser. Sorry. Bye bye.